Thanks for watching Here to Stay TV. I'm Glenn Hausman. I'm here with Nathan Lovegrove of The Square. Nathan, great to see you today. Yeah, you too. Nice to see you. So The Square, also my nickname in high school. Really? <laughs> well, because you're so bright, witty, and sophisticated. <laughs> that's, that's exactly yeah. right. You know, uh, but, but it's interesting to me, um, you're doing a lot of great stuff within the service department business. Yep. I'd, I'd like for the audience to learn a little bit more about what your company's yeah, sure. about. So, like Bridge Street, we're an operator in London. We've got a global network. We've just added a number of other countries to that, including Australia uh, and the Netherlands. Uh, very, very heavily invested in tech. Right. So we've got a nine tech team in India. We've developed our own app. So we're going to be putting a tablet in every single apartment. Right. That'll enable guests to live chat to guest services 24-7. Oh, It'll have user guides on all of the um, white goods in the apartment maps of the local area, special offers. Um, we're the only company that's now publishing our NPS score in real time, live. What is that score? Net Promoter Score. Right. So it runs from minus 100 to positive 100. That's a big, that's a big range. That's a big range. And it's based on every single bit of feedback you get, whether it's somebody putting a review on a TripAdvisor, somebody filling out a survey in the apartment. Um, you want to get to a score of 30 to be good, right. and 70 is excellent. Right. So we're tracking uh, in the early 40s now, um, and the goal in the company is to get it to north of 70 by the end of the financial year. Well, right now I'd score you with 75. Oh, thank you very much. So I, I love that. The one thing that interests me that we're talking about here is we talk a lot in this sector about the whole idea of living like a local, but it yep. looks like you're working to enable them to do that in a, in a very interesting and or, organic way. Yeah, it's, I mean, the, the, the buzzword I like to use is four-star apartment, six-star service. Right. And I'll give you an example of some of the things that we do. Mm -hmm. We contact every guest before they fly into the country. Wow. And we get to know them. We build a relationship with them. Because what I find, when somebody books into an apartment, 86% of what can go wrong is because you haven't managed expectations properly, you haven't explained how it works, people get to a strange country, they don't know any of the systems, and they panic, and yeah. they get upset, you know, and it's natural human nature. So we spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes building a relationship, well, that's terrific. telling them about the local area. Give you a really good example of how this works. We um, had a guy that was booked by his client, um, and they booked him into an apartment that only had stairs. And nobody had told the guest. Right. We did the pre-arrival guest call. It turned out had a three-week-old baby. So he was going to be carrying the baby and everything up the stairs. So we were able to move the guest to a different apartment before they even checked in. Same price. Net result. Delighted guest. Delighted client. Everybody's happy. Wow. I love, I love that idea, especially the notion of making them feel more comfortable. Mm. Because I think there's a lot of anxiety when you travel to a country that you're unfamiliar with, or even a city that you're unfamiliar yeah. with. And by uh, showing them that you guys are all on the same team, I bet you it allays a lot of those fears. And you probably get to um, get those higher customer service scores even before they walk in the door. They're predisposed to love you. Yeah. And the, again, the idea is then, if something does go wrong, and right. you know, things happen, yeah, white course. goods break, because we've got a relationship, they talk to us. Yeah, they right. don't go and complain to the company that's booked them, for example. Um, and I think that's very important. If somebody knows that they can reach you 24 seven, right. whatever the issue. I, I, I've always thought, you know, that it's not about things going right or things going wrong. It's about how everything is handled, right? Yeah. So if, you know, something terrible could go wrong, but if you, take responsibility for it and work with somebody to solve the problem, a lot of times they become even more fanatical about how much they like you. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. I think we really earn our money when something goes wrong. Yeah. You know, hundreds of people stay <laughs> and hundreds of people have a great time. But it seems to be, and it, it must be aligned in the stars, there are some very unlucky individuals. And it seems when one thing goes wrong for that individual, right. 20 things go wrong for that individual. And I, I do find, it's how you react to that. It's the speed of response. Right. You know, people are reasonable. If a boiler's broken, you can't magic a plumber out of thin air in two minutes to fix it every time. But if you respond to the guest immediately, if you explain the situation, if you have a solution, if you say to them, look, right. even if I can't fix this today, I'll put you in a hotel at my cost. I'll move you to the hotel. I'll make sure that you're looked after until it's fixed. 
people are reasonable right in most cases yes <laughs> and the ones that are not reasonable you're not going to be able to connect with anyway well look every guest is valued right of course so, but we're not saying they're not valued no we, we we fight until they leave to the best of our ability to make them happy but right. you are right unfortunately whatever we do occasionally there's somebody that you just can't get them happy whatever you do <laughs> so how important are these local guides to making people feel comfortable like they're a member of that neighborhood really important um, we've just developed a 75 page relocation guide for london wow so that again people can anyone can download it free of charge but it tells you everything like um how to do a school search how to open a bank account oh, so wow. all this stuff is vital and i think the evolution of service departments is getting away from thinking that you're just selling a room night. It's really, it's a mix of all of the best things about a hotel, right. but all of the best things about a private rental, putting them together. It's not just room nights, it's relocation type services, it's spousal support, it's helping people settle into the community. Because if somebody does an assignment and it fails, you're talking six figure cost to the business. Right. I can't stop an assignment from failing, but I can try and help someone settle into the community. And if they're settled at home, the idea is they're going to perform better at work. Right. Yeah, I think that is a, a fantastic approach. And the first time, you know, somebody's really spoken to me about that in, in depth. So speaking of all the new markets that you're going into, UK mature market. Yep. What markets are you seeing that you're entering that you think have the most possibility for growth that you're excited about? Yeah, it's very interesting. See, I estimate the service department business to be worth about 25 billion now. But still, the vast majority of that comes from the major financial hubs. Right. So London, New York, Singapore, Hong Kong. They're always going to be logical places to open service departments. But I'm seeing a lot of traction in Scandinavian countries. Really? Um, I'm seeing South Africa has become a hotspot, a lot of movement into Africa. Uh, Eastern European, there's a lot of um, data centers, call centers in Eastern Europe now. So, you know, there's an argument to say invest more into New York because it's a mature market, right. bigger opportunity. But really the golden, the, the piece of gold everybody's looking for is finding that country that's just about to explode and getting in there first and building up. I think we're all trying to do that. So is there a particular formula for it or is it some research and some gut, all of it kind of coming together? I think it's my absolutely phenomenal sales ability that gen generally... <laughs> right, as long as you're named Nathan, then you know it's going to work out. <laughs> but um, no, I, I tend to follow the checkbook. So right. joking aside, um, I read a lot about the industry. I'm generally interested in the industry. You know, I go to places like the Business Travel Show. I talk to people. Right, incidentally, that's where we're coming yeah. at you from today, Business Travel Show in London. Uh, so that's that, they owe me fifty pound now for saying that. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it's having your finger on the pulse. But more than anything, for me, I follow the checkbook. Right. You know, my clients are global clients, so I'll talk to them. I'll find out what the business is doing, and if I can see trends, a lot of movement in a certain location. For example, it's no secret with Brexit. Yep. A lot of banks are taking bits of their operation, putting them in Dublin, Frankfurt, Paris, Amsterdam. So again, we've got to look at that. We've got to have uh, uh, options in Frankfurt, options in Dublin. It's just being, being smart, talking to your customers, yeah. understanding what's going on in the wider world. Uh, I love it. So research, 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 talk to a lot of people, read up on it, and then most importantly, make sure you connect with the customer in meaningful and ways that connect with them uh, emotionally. Solution led, yeah, yep. solution selling. Ah. Find out where the problem is and solve it for them. I love it, any final thoughts? Uh, yeah, book the square, we're great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give yourself a shameless pitch. How can people find you guys? Uh, find us at the square, uh, <coughs> excuse me, literally www.thesquare. You will find us, uh, we're high up on all the search rankings. Look on Meet the Team, find Nathan Lovegrove. Uh, best rates in the service department industry, best departments in the service department <laughs> industry, alongside Bridge Street, of course. But Bridge Street don't have me, so. Excellent. Well, well it sounds like uh, Bridge Street needs to talk about getting, uh, <laughs> getting you. Well, What's up to that fella? Yeah. Well, Nathan, thanks so much for being here. Really I appreciate it. For uh, Glenn Hausman and the one and only Nathan Lovegrove, thanks for watching Here to Stay TV. Thank you.